right, we're gonna continue down the path of tacos, again with uh, a steak taco now. Um, we're gonna marinate this today so we can cook it tomorrow. So this is something that you can uh, batch out and get it ready for the next day, because um, every day is taco day. Uh, you wanna make these ahead of time and then put them in the fridge, pull them out and grill them, ready to go. It's perfect. We, uh, I'm using some sirloin steaks. We have some lemon, lime, cilantro, I'm using grapeseed oil. We have some garlic powder, we have cumin, we have actually Spiceology's taco seasoning, uh, salt free, and some dark chili powder. And I'm gonna use a little soy sauce. The reason I'm gonna use a little soy sauce is it gives it a little umami factor. You also need a Ziploc bag. All right, let's go. When you do it, fold over about an inch so you don't get any liquid on the seal. All right, we're starting with our soy sauce, about an ounce, two ounces of grapeseed oil, our granulated garlic from Spiceology. All the spices today are from Spiceology, pretty much any spice I use, it only comes from Spiceology. Uh, this is our dark chili powder, about a teaspoon, ground or toasted and ground cumin, about a tablespoon, and this is the taco seasoning. I'm using about two tablespoons of this, this is a microplane brand. We're gonna zest half a lemon and we're gonna zest, and we're gonna zest half the lime. Now our lime. I like the overhand method, so you can catch all your zest. Next we're gonna juice both of these. Around your bag. Next, cilantro. This side real quick, chop, chop. I'm just gonna give it kind of a rough chop. In the bag. Also in the bag, salt. Tablespoon. Black pepper, about a teaspoon. Now work it around. Drop them right in. Oop. Close it up. Now you have a clean seal. Work the steaks around a little bit. So just sitting in all that liquid. Then, boom, roll it up, pop in the fridge. Uh, minimum an hour, but up to 24. All right, our adventure in tacos continues. Our beef has been marinating for 12 hours. Okay, we've got our fresh corn tortillas from the Mexican market, a lime, an avocado, some jalapenos, a fresh orange off my tree, some uh, sliced onions, and then our steak. So we're gonna get this on a high heat to sear it on all sides. Then we'll turn the heat down and we'll cook it slow until it's about medium, medium rare. As always, we're gonna start with a little bit of grapeseed oil. So about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the steak. All right, let's pull these steaks out to rest. With the heat still up, we're gonna add our onions. We're gonna turn our heat down to medium. And just let them cook nice and slow. They've been cooking for about two minutes now, so we're gonna add some salt. Two big pinches, using three fingers. And same thing, pepper. Two nice big pinches. Again, using three fingers. And you'll see just a little bit of fawn down here. This is gonna slowly come up as you're stirring. And now, let's add some jalapenos. Uh, I'm just gonna slice these up and throw them in right now. All right, let's add our jalapenos. And now for our secret ingredient that we're gonna use to deglaze. I'm using Bear Bottle uh, Hella Jalapeno Jalapeno Lager. Uh, Bear Bottle is a local company out of San Francisco. Um, it's just a delicious beer. And so let's... Well, that happened. Exploded can all over me. Anyway, cheers. Ah. 
Now we're gonna cook this down just until the liquid evaporates. As you can see, it's almost gone. Now we're gonna add juice of one orange off my tree. These are super juicy Valencia oranges. The orange juice is almost fully evaporated. Once it's evaporated, we can take it off the stove and we can build our tacos. Now that onions are done, let's slice our beef. Now let's build some tacos. We start with our canvas. Fresh corn tortillas. Next, food glue, uh, some cheese. We're using a fresh Mexican cheese I got from the Mexican market. Has a texture very much like ricotta. Next, our onion and jalapeno mixture. And a few slices of steak. Just a little cilantro. And finish off, eh, just spoon it out. Avocado. And there we are, steak tacos. Fresh lime. And the bite. Lean over, you don't want to get anything on your shirt. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Chase a little bit of beer in my frozen mug. Mm. Ah, delicious. It's a very simple, quick method. You can prep the meat ahead of time, in fact. If you like your meat a little bit more well done, you wanna cook it low and slow so it doesn't seize up and get really tough. Again, let it rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then slice it super, super thin. And thank you to all my friends over at Mazetta for uh, passing over the sliced hot chili peppers. Uh, these are the hot ones. They're, they're just, the, I think they're the perfect amount of like hot to add to something. And to Morgan and my friends over at Bear Bottle, Excellent company if you're in the Bay Area and you can find it, or if you can find it in your Safeway wherever you live, uh, definitely pick some up, it's delicious. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Shut Up and Eat. If you, uh, if you can, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. Now go get your taco on.